Go. Okay. So I just cut that piece. And then I moved over here and I realized that it's the reverse. And so and these are great examples. So I wouldn't flip this because I always feel like even though it seems the same, when it's flipped, sometimes it can be different. So then I'm moving over to find the shape that is going in the same direction because I want them to match up. So again, I kind of keep this next to me so I kind of see. I'm checking my lines that I drew with my dry erase pen. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now the beauty of fussy cutting is, you know, it should be as close as possible as you can make it, but you're gonna be putting the paper on and folding around it. So you have another chance to make it exact. And that really is where it counts is when you're gluing up or thread basting, whichever one you do. Oops, probably shouldn't do that. Okay. So that is my guy there. And as you can see, I'm pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Now I'm going to show you, um, you can just wipe the dry erase off and use it again for another shape. So I'll show you another technique that I often use. Okay, so now let me find my shape again. Not that one. I'm going to move over. And I actually use this way to fussy cut. So I'm taking my first shape and I'm putting it directly on top of the fabric underneath and I'm lining it up so that it's in the same position. So it's mirroring the shape underneath. And then I line up this right on top. And then I cut. I don't tape or stick or do anything. I just cut. Because that piece underneath isn't really going to move. And I got to do this way. Be careful with your rotary. Okay. Yeah, I felt like I didn't quite get these. All right. Okay. Oh, sometimes if I don't get it, again, I'm doing this on camera and my fabric's slipping all over the place. I'll just cut it. And that's fine too. You already have the major lineup. And I'll show you. All right. And so as you can see, these are all identical. Okay. So there's two ways to fussy cut. You can use your templates and mark them and line them up or just put the original shape underneath, line it up and fussy cut.